This is Cladis, a very versatile addict, and looking at all the elements that he performs, we can easily guess what he does. Of course, it is calisthenics. Although, if this video started with Cladis doing barbell bench presses or deadlifts, we could easily guess whether it's powerlifting, bodybuilding or crossfit. Calisthenics, despite the fact that some still do not consider it as a full-fledged sport, gives the widest base in terms of the arsenal of exercises. The strongest athletes in this area also works with additional weights, which makes them even stronger. Cladis this year set a Guinness record in push-ups on the bars and become a street lifting champion seven times. Even Eddie Hall appreciated this guy's tricks. And in general, he was always amazed by the strength of the athletes of calisthenic direction. Here are a few conclusions that Eddie made after watching. The human flag, that is just insane strength as well. I honestly don't understand how people get this, because it's a different kind of strength. The strong, where you can you know, lift half a ton, pull planes and pull trucks and then there's this kind of strength it's like just what where they can lift their own body weight with like one arm and do like it's insane and a big respect to these guys big respect it takes years and years of dedication to do these kind of things but when it comes to the elements, there is always one very important thing to remember. We often demonstrate strength in a completely different way than we train it. For example, I can do a slow muscle up, but I certainly didn't train it that way. Often to perform this skill, we need to learn how to do normal muscle ups, and for a normal muscle up, we need to learn how to do pull ups. So it is cool to demonstrate a skill, but any element is mostly a demonstration of your strength, but not a strength training. And if you want to become strong, you should definitely not avoid basic movements movements. Let me give you one example. Let's go to the YouTube and type in Strength Wars. Great project that ended up 11 years ago. Find an episode where Adam Raw competed as a representative of calisthenics and Roman Rangel as a representative of powerlifting. Since this project has finished its existence, let me remind you that Romano did not lose to absolutely no one and was absolutely the strongest athlete of the project until the very moment when he faced an even more versatile athlete in the person of Adam and lost. Yes, it was in the final seconds and in fact both athletes showed just an unreal level. But the conclusion was obvious to everyone. Calisthenics athletes are really strong and can compete with athletes from any direction in strength sports. So what's the secret and how to develop strength? I've highlighted six key features of these workouts. The first thing you need to do is choose the right progression. If you're planning to learn the front lever, you shouldn't perform hundreds of leg races in a single workout. Just as there is no point in pumping your abs every day in the hope that it might someday become strong enough to hold an even front lever. Instead, find an underlying movements that will allow you to load the target muscle groups, and then the front lever will not be long in coming. The second tip is rest. A long rest between strength approaches allows you to maximize your strength work. There is a reason why in powerlifting, streetlifting and other sports that emphasize strength, at least rest up to 5 minutes between approaches. The third tip is to get the circuit training out of the way. It doesn't make sense to perform one movement after another, if your emphasizes is strength. Instead, train one one movement with long pauses between approaches and only then move on to the next exercise. Fourth, when starting a workout we go from difficult exercises to easier ones, not the other way around. Spending all your energy on simple movements will usually not be enough for something really difficult, and your energy level at the end of the workout will be minimal. If you want to achieve high results, it will not work to study 10 elements at the time. It is much more logical to take one, maximum two movements, and then move to the next only after achieving results in the first two. Well, the final tip is so-called starting base. On the screen you see a row list of basic movements that you should do in a pure form before you go any further. I know that sometimes it can be hard to make a perfect training plan that combines all above mentioned key features. But in 21st century you can easily make a workout plan using even AI. For example, you can go to PlanFit app and answer a couple of questions about your experience, goals, number of workouts per week and format of training. After that you can try for free to train with your AI coach. It will give you perfect warm-up and very detailed training plan with explanations of how to perform this or that exercise. It also has a rest timer that will help you to recover evenly every other set, with the options of adding or reducing the time according to your current condition. After a workout it will give you a nice cool-down routine. To be honest, with my experience I was really surprised how accurate was that training plan. And as I said earlier, top calisthenic athletes are often used extra weight to get an advantage and progress the workload. 
So with this AI tool, you can go from simple exercises at home to very hard exercises at the gym. And if you have any questions, then your AI coach Max can answer them. But don't ask anything stupid, please. So don't be lazy, with AI you simply don't have any excuses and can start even now right from your home. So I will leave a link for this app in the description below. Of course, at this point many people can say like, f*** your base. Without squats, without heavy presses and in general without gym, nothing will come out of you anyway. Well, here is an example of the guy who did not go to the gym and got a cool natural physique. By the way, you can sometimes tell by the physique shape what kind of sports someone did. And this is what he looked like when when he was training with iron. And here is another variant of transformation from the ectomorph into the aesthetically developed person. Only the base and body weight exercises were using in training. Athletes of all disciplines have a base, however, the more narrow the discipline, the more emphasized the base will be. For example, arm wrestlers, for the most part, do not pay attention to legs at all. And all the emphasizes and all the time is spent on the training ligaments, fingers, hands and everything that helps in a fight at the table. If you perform bench presses, then to the standard training of the press there will be a leg exercises, because they also participate in the work and give you an advantage of 10-15%. Well, if you take powerlifting, then here the base will involve your whole body. Of course, someone may claim that in calisthenics the disadvantage is the complete absence of leg training. And this is true, but many athletes including the above mentioned Slytis or Adam Rod train legs and quite systematically. I'm not trying to highlight calisthenics, and I think that other strength disciplines can and also quite cool develop your base, especially powerlifting, and the recent episode on Manus Midboss channel has confirmed it. As part of one of the videos, Manus decided to check out what the dimensional athletes Juju Mufu and Larry Wills were capable of in calisthenics. It turned out that back in 2012 Juju was able to perform muscle ups and cross rings quite cleanly, and his form was no less impressive than it is now. However, after gaining a couple of dozen pounds, Juju could not perform the muscle up, but Larry Wills did it without any problems. In addition to the muscle ups, both athletes managed to front lever quite well, and Larry surprised everyone with his almost perfect human flag, and it was his first attempt to perform this element. And all this because Larry is the lifter who according to the point 6 has a solid starting base. So if you are a complete beginner, I recommend you to watch this video next. It will help you to move from the dead point and make the first step in calisthenics without making silly mistakes.